Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and an editor, or whatever, James Kerchick, for the LA Times, has suggested that there should be a military coup to remove Trump, assuming Trump gets elected in November. I could do that right here. If Trump wins, the coup isn't impossible here in the U.S. And he goes saying Trump wants troops to commit war tri crimes and all this, and they'll refuse. And then the uh, military will turn around and. Say, okay, you're done, we're taking you out. That's what it amounts to. Okay. So, this whack job, James Kerchick, basically says, we're going to nullify the people's vote. That's what this is about. This is a... This is a warning to the American people that we're not going to tolerate a vote for Trump. We'll find a reason and we'll remove him from office. That's essentially what this says. Now, well, having said that, it could be a bluff. But I want you to understand something. Obama has used Stalin-like purges to remove... I don't know how many generals, top generals, from power. And he did it in order to put political lackeys, political cronies that are loyal to him in office. So, looking at this article, you have to understand the lamestream media works hand in hand with the government. There's such a thing as the government media complex. And the LA Times certainly is a lamestream media newspaper which would support Obama if he, no matter what he did, even if he decided he won a third term. These are not Americans. I've said that before. I'll say that again. These are not Americans. I stand by that. So this is a warning, basically. You uh, vote for Trump, we're going to take your vote away from you, and we're going to put who we want in there. That's what this is saying. I, I'm not 100% certain that Obama wants to stay in any longer. I think he likes his golf too much, to be honest. I'm not being flippant either. I, mean, I don't think he really likes the position, but he's held it for eight years, so we'll have to wait and see. It could be, you know, he has a coup against Trump, takes Trump out, and in comes you know who, Hillary. Who knows what they're planning? I don't. So, they didn't have it. The only times was basically threatening a coup. Limper Swagger might fly with patriotic, patriarchal confines of a family business or a dictatorship. It does not work, however, in a liberal democracy. Make no mistake, they're working hand in hand with Obama and the government, so this is a warning to the American people. Vote for who we tell you to vote for, or you may not like the consequences. Could be a bluff, but just to summarize, Obama does have a mechanism in place uh, to carry out this threat if he wants to.
Don't know what will happen. I didn't think we'd make it this far, but we might make it all the way to the election. We're still reasonably intact, so could be very, very interesting this summer and into the fall. Of course, this will be uh, after the... This would happen after he would be elected and then gets inaugurated and all that and gets settled in and then the left declares, oh, sorry, we can't allow this. We're going to install whoever. We're going to put Obama back in until we can figure out uh, who we want. Or we'll put Hillary in or whatever. I'm out of facts from Mars. Thanks for watching. These people are dangerously insane. Liberalism is a mental disorder.